What up, what up guys? Uh, one more video for a call tonight. Like I said, I went to Academy, grabbed a couple of knives, and already did my little review on the buck over here. So I've been into fixed blades, trying to get those collected up again. And I came across this at Academy as the Ontario, and yeah, it came in one of these things where you have to just set off a nuclear bomb to un, you know, get it out of the casing. That's another story. It's the uh, Ontario Knife Model 499 Tactical, quotation mark, quotation mark. Uh, supposedly, these have been issued to Air Force uh, soldiers who had to cut themselves out of their harness or some shit. I can't remember how it went down. But you got an overall of almost 10 inches. You got 5 inch, 5.01 inches, 5.0 inches, 5 inches, whatever the hell it says. It's listed as 1095, but I, don't, I think they're using 1075 now. Uh, 55, 50 to 55 HRC on the Rockwell scale. Leather material on the handle and the sheath is included. I don't know why they would even bother to put that because you can see it in the box. But anyway, that's another story. Upon looking at it, it appears to be like a, a mini K bar, which is pretty much what it is. Uh, I got this and I was like, you know what? I bet it's going to be as dull as the other one. And I was right. Dear God, I do not understand why they do not sharpen these things. The buck over here, just to kind of go back a little bit, came razor sharp. A little $25 knife. This thing was listed as 54 It rang up 69 I had to wait on my refund, my partial refund. But anyway... They are charging $70 for a knife that you can't cut Play-Doh with. My only issue with it, only thing I got a problem with, it won't even, I mean, you could saw on your own arm and it, it may break skin after about 20 minutes. Of course, I'm being, you know, uh, whatever about that. But, I mean, seriously, it should be able to at least cut something. But I did what I do. And, but the point is, is not everybody has access to a belt sander. Not, not everybody knows how to sharpen. Not everybody wants to do it. I didn't feel like doing it. You know, I didn't have to sharpen the buck. Why well, should I have to sharpen the one that costs three times as much? And the kicker is it comes with a sharpening stone in the, in the sheath right here. I can tell you that isn't going to do shit for that knife over there. It, you'd be working on this thing for days. Now, the sheath, the sheath itself is very impressive. It's actually, it's actual leather. I'm fumbling around, trying to hold the damn phone. It smells great. It smells like leather. You have this this back plate to keep the, the knife from bending in the sheath. You got a belt loop. You got a secure snap here, depending on how you want to snap it. <coughs> you got some holes here to put, run some paracord through. And also at the bottom. <coughs> Uh, you have, I've heard mixed things about the purpose of this. I've heard it was to saw, um, out of a pilot's seat belt. I've heard it was actually for wood. It's listed as a survival knife. So, uh, you know, you got, you know, <laughs> your guess is good as mine. But, uh, if you have the patience to sharpen it and you, you have the equipment or the stones or whatever and the, time or whatever it's a pretty cool knife and there's not much else to say about it it uh has black coating on the blade you have a fuller here covered up with by the uh the coating you got the, the guard here for lack of a better term and then you have at the end um, I'm assuming it's rat tail, rat, rat tang, rat tail tang like the, uh, the K bars are. This is probably holding the blade on. And, uh, but yeah, cool little adventure I had. Got some cool new knives. And of course, most of us will never have to use this for its intended purposes. It's just cool to have in your collection. Uh, it has that old K bar World War II look to it. Which I plan to get a K bar eventually. I just was bored. I went to the store and found a couple of light. I found a few more light. I just couldn't afford them today. So the next knife I have planned to get and review is 
the K-Bar Modified Tanto. If you guys don't know what that is, look it up on uh, YouTube. Uh, we Juggle Knives, or We All Juggle Knives, did a great review on it. Did some great cutting with it. And apparently, it comes, you know, pretty sharp out the box. So, any guy, any, any, <laughs> <coughs> anyway, guys, you guys have a great one, and we'll see you next time in the next video. Peace and say my name.